raining. Unusual. Maybe no one told them I'd be arriving today. Is anyone home? Ambulance right away. Damn, you're noisy. This isn't even your house. Could you please try to keep it down? You you're alive. Why wouldn't I be alive? Seriously, what do you think I am anyway? But your heart, it seemed to have stopped. It wasn't beating at all. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, I think you already know. I'm about to take you, of course. <laughs> Ayato, what's all the commotion down here? Damn it, it's raging. Need I remind you that this is our entrance hall? We use this area exclusively to receive our guests. I must ask you to take your activities to your private room. No, oh, whatever. You're such a buzzkill. <laughs> Will you help me? Please help me! And who might you be? I'm Yui Komori. My father told me I was supposed to live here, but I don't know why. Why wasn't I told about this? Ayato, explain it to me at once. Oh, how would I know anything about it? This is news to me, too. You never told me you were moving in with us, Pancake. That's because you attacked me out of nowhere. I didn't have a chance to tell you anything. <laughs> uh, hold on, you said Pancake. Were you talking about me? Of course I was, stupid. Seriously. If you haven't noticed, you're as flat as a Pancake. Scott. <laughs> This really is rather strange. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why I wasn't informed of your arrival. Excuse me, but who are you? I don't think it's a good idea to talk about this here. Please, follow me. See that her luggage is taken care of. Huh? <gasps> now... For the sake of formality, let's begin. Why don't you tell us about yourself and how you came to enter this house? Uh, right. Well, I... Uh... <laughs> well, what do we have here? Could it be that a cute little human girl has decided to pay us a visit? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, you smell so sweet and your skin tastes delicious. Please, let me have a lick too. <laughs> You're right. She does taste sweet. <laughs> Stop that, you two. It's highly inappropriate to behave so impolitely toward a young woman you've only just met. But why? It's only natural to want to taste something that looks and smells so yummy. Kanato agrees with me. Yes, I do. Hey, knock it off, you guys. Have you forgotten that yours truly is the one who saw her first? Consequently, yours truly is going to be her first everything. Lame. I'm so sick of hearing you call yourself yours truly. What the hell? Damn it, Sabaru, I know that's you. Come out and show yourself! I'm right here. <gasps> I thought I detected the smell of human in here. Guess I was right. Who is this mortal who dares awaken me from my precious sleep? How... how'd you enter this room so quietly? You will answer my question first! <laughs> Do any of you know what's going on here? I must find out why this young woman has come here to live with us. 
think this is just some sort of misunderstanding, so I'll be on my way now. Wait just a minute. Huh? I am attempting to get to the bottom of the situation here. Don't you think it would be rather discourteous to leave right now? But... but I... I wonder if she's the young woman that he mentioned the other day. Shu, sure. do you know something about this girl and the reason she's here? Maybe. Don't give us this maybe crap. I think we'd all appreciate an explanation. It was that guy. He contacted me a couple days ago. He told me that we'd have a guest arriving from the church and that we should treat her with respect. What? Are you telling me that Pancake here is the prospective bride? How? Huh? No. Is that all this is? Oh, let's be honest, she's more like a sacrifice than a bride, really. Oh, uh, yeah. He explicitly said that we're not supposed to kill her. Oh, really? If that's the case, then we're going to have a very long relationship with this woman. <sighs> it appears there is no misunderstanding after all. So allow us to introduce ourselves. That is the eldest son, Shu. <sighs> My name is Reiji, and I'm the second son. Next to the triplets, Ayato. I won't let you get away from me next time. Kanato. I hope to taste you again very soon. And Lito. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, little bitch. The last son is Subaru. <laughs> what a waste of time. I still think this has to be some sort of mistake. Nobody said anything about me being somebody's bride. And, and besides, the six of you? You're all kind of weird. Contact my father. <gasps> That's my cell phone! You give that back to me now! Do you really think that I should? Give it back! Come on, please! <laughs> uh, what are you doing? This is what I'm doing. <gasps> How could you? Get lost. Oh, there, there, little bitch. It'll be okay. You're about to become very good friends with us, so you'll have no need for that silly old cell phone. Right? To tell you the truth, I'm feeling a little bit peckish at the moment. Don't I know it? You smell so delicious, it's intoxicating, little bitch. can't really believe there's any truth to that old fairy tale written by a mortal. The one that claims vampires are vulnerable to garlic, holy crosses, and sunshine. It just goes to show how foolish and arrogant mortals can be. And it infuriates me. Her manners are utterly deplorable. that you wouldn't be needing a phone during your time here with us. Now, now, where has that little bitch run off to? Guess who this is? Please! Oh, please! Please let this open! Did you really think you could escape? I believe the time has come for the much-anticipated scream. Please humor me by screaming. I want to hear you scream at the top of your lungs. You won't get away from me this time, little pancake.
brings me great joy. The fact that she is not my natural child is no longer important to me. I am only grateful for this tremendous blessing every day of my life. So what does this mean? Is it true that I'm not my father's daughter? What is my father's diary doing here anyway? Of all our rooms, you had to pick this one to enter. <gasps> we took great care to seal off this room, so you shouldn't have been able to come in here. I must be sure to install a new lock on the door immediately. That's for sure. Why don't you tell us how you managed to get in here, little bitch? But remember that you are my prey, so please don't move. I'm not anyone's prey. I've heard enough of your damn excuse! <laughs> oh, jeez. Give it a rest, Sabaru. You shut up! That's the look. You know how to get my juices flowing, don't you? Perhaps I'll partake in the feast as well. I would like a taste too, please. There's one important thing that you must fully comprehend from this day forward. You will never be able to escape, so make no attempt to do so. Oh, don't be such a wuss. Get straight to the point, will you? Just tell her that if she tries to escape, she's dead. <laughs> please, please stop! Please stop this right now! My bad. Seems like I knocked something over. Hey there, huh? Pancake. Tell me, are you ready? I take all that I want and all that I see. It's a ruler's prerogative to torture his conquests, isn't it? I watch you inevitably spiral toward a dead end. Fall until you can fall no further and cry. Come here. I'll smother you with fang marks and kisses. <laughs>